well it's all cleaned up and it was pretty hard actually to get it off it was quite a quite a chore it was really stuck it to him and his little tiny tip of his tail was all tangled in there like a knot never would have got out on its own i don't think would have dried up and died in that garage it wouldn't have been able to get the food or water we're gonna let it go here seems to be a good spot for them because they I always see them here on my back patio they must get plenty of food whatever it is they like they're so tiny you could never take care of something this small I don't think with much success so I never tried to keep them as pets I see them so often I don't really need to have a pet in the tank look at them just laying there that shows you that's how tiny that snake is Well, he doesn't seem to be in a big hurry, but I'm going to put him down. <sighs> Here you go, little guy. Off you go. Go on. Under my lawn ornament. Yeah, I'm afraid to. Oh, he actually went inside it. How cool. Alright. That's a great little place to start. I'm going to stick that back here away from the edge of the garden a little bit. And, uh. That works for me. Maybe I'll see him again. Hopefully, you don't get hit by the mower. They're pretty small. He must be doing all right. All right. One snake rescued. A little ringneck. 